fold your landscape format piece of paper in half. Fold this bottom edge inwards towards the middle fold. Turn it around and fold the bottom edge towards the middle fold again. So when you open up, it should be an accordion style fold. Grab your scissors and cut a slope out of the first piece of paper. Cut a slope going the other way on the second piece of paper. another slope on this piece of paper going the other way and then cut the remainder of the paper off. So when you open it all out it should look something like this. Turn it over so the longest piece of paper is on your right hand side. That's going to be our sky. Now when you fold the next piece over that's going to be a mountain and this piece here will be a pasture and here we have a fence. Let's start by painting the sky on this piece. Now I'm going to add some white paint for some clouds. I'm dabbing the white on thickly on top of the, the wet blue paint and now I'm going to use my finger to gently swirl it into really fluffy clouds. While my sky is drying, I'm moving two panels over and I'm dabbing on a mixture of green, yellow, white and even a little bit of blue to create a country meadow. Time to let these dry. Two hours later and everything's dry enough for me to fold it together. I'm going to work on the first panel down the bottom. I want this to be a fence, so I'm using my lead pencil to draw the top of the fence. And I want a cute little border collie dog peering over the top of the fence. So here I'm drawing the paws, adding a snout and a fluffy face. I'm going to have a little tongue sticking out.
going to draw the wooden fence palings with a tiny little gap between each one. I'm going to use a black texture instead of paint to put in the details for my dog. right up to the eyes otherwise they'll disappear and I'm leaving a white snout and a white strip of fur in the center of the face. looking shaggy and cute. Looks like a friendly dog. Cutting out the fence and around the dog's head. drawing some dark green texture in between the fence palings. And when I get to where the dog is, I'm going to add just little flecks of black here and there to make it look like there's fur and draw in some dark lines where the legs would be so it looks like the dog is standing on its hind legs. brown. If you don't have brown paint, try mixing yellow and red to make a warm orange and add a little bit of blue until it looks brown to you. To add the illusion of wood grain, I'm turning my paintbrush around and I'm using it to scratch in some spirals and some lines so it looks like wood. We just have this rocky mountain area to paint. I'm going to cut it a little bit more wobbly so it looks more like rocks. Here I've got some black paint, white paint and grey paint. I'm not going to mix them together, I'm just going to dab them on and get a random mix of these three shades coming out. Turning my paintbrush around again, I'm going to scratch through this thick paint and create some areas of different layers of rock. some green plants on the rocks but I just need to put this aside to dry for a while. I'm using the other end of the paintbrush again to scratch in some grassy leaves. Then it's time to let it dry once again. Okay, here's the completely dry work. 
So I've made some cute little sheep to put on my meadow, so I'm excited about that. Let's assemble all of the layers correctly. So we have the sky, we have the Rocky Mountain scene, next we have the meadow, and I'll add my sheep now to the meadow with some glue, and I'll draw in some little legs with texture. The sheep are super tiny because they're in the distance. And lastly, our sheepdog. 